what's up everybody in this video i'm going to compare the google pixel 4a 5g with the oneplus nord n10 5g let's take a look now the reason i'm comparing both of these phones is that the google pixel 4a 5g is the cheapest 5g phone from the pixel line from google comes in at 500 dollars unlocked and it's going against the oneplus nord n10 5g which is the cheapest 5g phone from oneplus where you can get it anywhere from 50 dollars on prepaid all the way to like around 280 dollars unlocked uh, no contract so you have two budget devices but one is just way more cheaper than the other while the other one is coming straight from google with that google stock android feel so let's take a look so for the overall size they are very similar the 4a 5g comes in at a little bit under 6.4 inches in height uh 2.94 inches yeah, so around three inches in width and about 0.33 inches in thickness while the oneplus phone n10 5g comes in at 6.4 inches tall 2.9 inches in uh, width and 0.35 inches in thickness so the google phone comes in slightly smaller with the height for the overall weight the uh, google phone comes in at 168 grams or 5.9 ounces while the oneplus is 190 grams or 6.7 ounces so the overall lighter weight phone is the google phone so when it comes to the build quality you are not getting flagship build quality they don't have glass these are all plastic from the from the sides to the back it's all going to be a plastic build all around which is perfectly fine especially at the nord n10 price point anywhere from 50 dollars all the way to 280 bucks it's perfectly fine the 4a 5g has a little bonus that it has an e-sim built in so you could definitely take this for traveling or have two different phone numbers or data plans and swap it in and out whenever you please. So it's a very world class uh, phone, kind of up with the ranks of the iPhone. The N10 5G in the United States will not have that uh, eSIM capability and it doesn't have that dual SIM capability like the international version of the N10. So that in that, in that case, uh, it's going to be the Google phone that wins in that department. Uh, neither of these phones have IP dust and water resistance, but they should be able to withstand the splash here and there. Now, when it comes to display, the uh, 4A 5G has a 6.2 inch OLED display. The OnePlus phone has a bigger display at 6.5 inches IPS LCD display. Similar screen to body ratio on both, they're, they're around 84, 83 inches respectively. The resolution is also around the same. They're 1080p displays and they're going to give you a north of 400 in the PPI department, 413 for the uh, 4A 5G and 406 PPI for the Nord N10 5G. So anything north of 400 is going to be pretty good in my book. Another bonus for the N10 5G though is that it has a 90 hertz refresh rate. So if you care about super smooth scrolling, the N10 5G has that at the very lowest price point, which is pretty nice. When it comes to the software and the OS, they are both running Android. Um, and it's a stock version of Android. You got the Google super clean uh, version on the 4A 5G. And you also have Oxygen OS, which is very close stock version of Android for the OnePlus. The big difference between these two is that the Google Pixel 4a 5G will have several years of updates, while the N10 5G will probably only get one year of updates. So if you care about updates, the Google phone will have your back. For the chipset on these devices, the Google phone has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 processor, while the, while the OnePlus Nord N10 5G also has a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, but it's a little bit lower in 690 5G processor. Both of these processors are good. They will do 99% of the apps, such as YouTube, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, Google Maps, music, video, anything like that. It'll work definitely. 
when it comes to the internal storage both of these are very good devices and they start off at 128 gigs of storage paired with six gigabytes of ram so in my book that's a good amount of storage for these price points and the amount of ram is also very good the translation being that both of these good uh, both of these devices will not disappoint you with storage. You should not run out of storage with its internal built-in storage. And the six gigabytes of RAM will be more than enough for everyday people. You can run several apps in the background and you will not notice anything crashing or uh, closing. The bonus on the N10 5G is that it also has a micro SD card slot so you could infinitely um, add storage for very cheaply. So I'm gonna have to give it to the Nord N10 5G on that one. In the camera department, the 4A 5G from Google has a double camera setup. It has a 12 megapixel main camera, 60 megapixel ultra wide. For the Nord N10 5G, it has a quad camera setup, 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and then two um, megapixel depth, two megapixel macro. So I think it's kind of a tie between these. Um, because I think most people that aren't photographers will be very happy with the results of both of these cameras. I do give it a slight edge on the uh, Pixel 4a 5G just because Google has always been known to have great pictures, uh, great cameras, and take great video. Um, and and uh, OnePlus doesn't have a good track record of having great uh, pictures taken from their phones. But for most people, like I said, if you're in the right light and you're outside and it's it's going to be pretty good you won't be disappointed in this but it's not going to be perfect speaking of the uh in the video department both of these phones could shoot video up to 4k resolution which is really great selfie cameras on these phones are very similar as well uh, you get 8 megapixel shooter on the google phone 60 megapixel on the one plus both of these are capable of shooting video in 1080p but at the end of the day uh, results will be very fine for most people and they're going to be very similar if you are still using the headphone jack uh, you'll be happy to hear both of these still offer that so if you want to plug in your headphones you want to plug in your mic or connect it to your car via aux cord to listen to music you'll be very happy to find it on both of these devices but if you have moved on and fully embraced wireless like me uh, bluetooth 5.0 on the google phone uh, 5.1 Bluetooth on the OnePlus N10 5G. Uh, both of these will be very capable to connect your wearables such as your smartwatch, smart band, wireless headphones, speakers. Um, those devices will connect perfectly to both of these phones. Both phones also offer NFC, which is mainly used for payment systems. Both of these phones also offer rear mounted fingerprint readers which are a reliable way to unlock your device. We do have a slight difference in battery department. The uh, 4A 5G has a 3,885 milliamp battery, while the Nord N10 5G has a bigger 4,300 milliamp battery. Neither of these amounts of battery uh, sizes are good enough, I think, for uh, 5G performance. Um, 5G will definitely take a toll on your battery. So it's very unacceptable really on the 4A 5G and it's barely okay on the N10 5G at 4300. I really would like to see 5,000 milliamp batteries in any 5G phone, 5,000 milliamps or more. But if you do manage to need a charge during the day, I mean, both of these phones should last you most of the day, but if you need a fast charge, they both have it. You got 18 watts on the Google phone, 30 watt fast charging on the OnePlus N10 5G. So in conclusion, which is going to be the better phone? Well, these phones are very similar, very, very similar. They both run a stock version of Android. They um, are both offering you um, 128 gigs of internal storage. Um, but there are some big differences that make these phones stand out. So the biggest one for me is going to be price. You're getting $500 for the 4A 5G from, uh, from the Pixel phone. You can get the OnePlus Nord N10 5G anywhere from 50 bucks on prepaid at Metro or like 280 bucks on Amazon Unlocked. So there's, you can pretty much get two N10 uh, phones for the Google Pixel 4a 5G 
and you also get a micro SD card slot on the OnePlus. The, the only time I would choose the, the Google phone is that it has that eSIM. So if you're a traveler or you really like to um, uh, on the fly change data plans or just have two different things at the same time, that's something that, that you might have to, you have to give it to the uh, Pixel 4a 5G. And if you really like uh, lots of updates and having the newest, freshest, pure version of Android, the Pixel 4a 5G has you covered in the department as well. The battery is kind of weak for a 5G phone, and that price at $500 is really, really, to me, not such a good deal when there's lots of 5G phones that are being offered at sub $300 prices. So if it was me, I probably will have to choose the Nord N10 5G. It just offers so much value in such a small price point. It's still, to me, the biggest um, uh, bang for your buck for a 5G phone. So on that note, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.